Why, hello there, lovely one. It's me, Helen the Great. This question is one that you're going to easily get wrong. And the reason you're going to easily get it wrong is because we are raising all of the powers on the inside of the bracket by the power that's on the outside of the bracket. And what's going to happen is you're going to forget that x is to the power of 1. Hmm, are you upset that I possibly guessed what you did wrong? Well, let's do this problem now. Negative 3 times by negative 1 gives me positive 3. And negative 3 times by 1 gives me negative 3. Negative 3 times by negative 2 gives me 6. At the bottom, we have 6. Let's just change that to 2 times by 3. Then we have x to the power of negative 2. And lastly, we have y. Okay, I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. Usually I gather all of the bases at the top and I do it all as one problem. But now I'm actually just going to do some cancelling. I've got a 3 at the bottom, so that can cancel with one of the 3's at the top, leaving me with 3 squared. I've got y to the power of 6 and y to the power of 1, so I'm going to cancel y to the power of 1 with one of the y's at the top leaving me with y to the power of 5. This x to the power of negative 3 and x to the power of negative 2 is slightly more complicated. Because of the negatives, it's just, it doesn't feel comfortable. So I'm actually just going to swap them around. Why? Because negative exponents tell us that they need to be swapped around. So I've got 3 squared, and I'm bringing the x to the negative 2 up at the top, so that's x squared, and then y to the power of 5 stays there. And in the denominator, I've still got the 2, and I'm bringing that 3 to the negative 3 down, giving me 3 cubed. And now it's much easier to cancel, isn't it? I've got 3 squared at the top, and x to the power of 3, which means I'm left with x to the power of 1. And what a lovely answer we get. We get 3 squared. We could change that to 9 if we wanted to, but it's the same value. So what difference does it really make? And then in the denominator, we've got 2x. Let's just write it as 9y to the power of 5 over 2 times by x. Not bad at all. Much love.